My name is Yogi. I'm here in Las Vegas. This is where I live at and everything. I'm from Los Angeles, but I'm here in Las Vegas because we're representing the Green Vegas Project, which is we're doing crowdfunding from the general public in support of having responsible research development and licensing of cannabis sightseeing companies here in Las Vegas, particularly the Green Strip the Green Strip Wellness Crawl, that's the main company, but it's about bringing responsible tourism here to Las Vegas, sightseeing tourism. Hey, you know what? Have an open mind. Just because you don't necessarily smoke yourself, be open-minded. It might be something you do that the next person don't do, and I'm sure you're going to want them to have an open mind as well. So just be open-minded, you know what I mean? Don't condemn anyone for something you don't necessarily condone. Speaking of being open-minded, a lot of people today, now that marijuana has become so widespread and acceptable, are like okay with that because they see people doing it, they hear people you know, having positive experiences with it for medical purposes, but do you support the legalization of all drugs? No. No, because some drugs have such an adverse effect, not only to the body chemically, but they also have a direct effect on people's home lives, you know what I mean? Shouldn't people get to decide that for themselves? Same with marijuana? Well, I think when you have people that are involuntary to or subject to what's going on, like, for instance, someone who uses cocaine, if they go into a violent rage and the kids are in the house, now the person using the cocaine, true, they can have that decision to use it for themselves, but their actions, their actions directly affect okay, so, the so the actions are different from the drugs though because like alcohol can lead people to violence too right so are you saying that by I mean by that logic alcohol should be illegal well to a certain extent I think there's situations where all of it if not used responsibly that's the key word so shouldn't we make shouldn't we make the irresponsible part illegal like make it illegal to hit someone not make it illegal to drink a, a beer I think accountability is more more what needs to be so can we let all drugs be legal and just hold people accountable for their actual actions that would harm people exactly I think now that believe it or not is not a bad idea in my opinion if you could do what you do and it doesn't have an adverse effect to your home life, your children, the people around you, animals, nature. It doesn't have a bio-adverse effect. I mean, it doesn't matter. Do what you do as long as the after effect does not negatively, adversely affect anyone. So are you saying that you would support the legalization of all drugs if we had a better system for holding people accountable for when they do bad things on drugs? Kind of, yeah. Because I really don't, hey. If In the do, privacy of your own home, right? Do, do what you do. Yeah. But don't get all high off your drugs and harm your kids, hurt your dog, stand outside and hurt the general public. We didn't ask for that, you know? Your kids didn't ask for it. They can't defend themselves against that. So whatever drug you choose to do, make sure you can handle your drug. And the minute you're not responsible with the drug you use, you should be held fully accountable for that. Right. See, part of the problem with the drug war in the first place, I mean, why marijuana was illegal or is in the semi-illegal now, right, is that to an extent, yeah. we, with the people gave government the, the, the right to decide, well, yeah, the power. gave itself the power. <laughs> good <laughs> good point. A system like the electoral vote as opposed to the popular but, vote. But generally speaking, people... Generally speaking, the American people support the war on drugs, or did in, 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 as it was being ramped up, right? Right, right, right. I mean, it's one thing to support the war on drugs. I get it, you know? But don't tell me we could put somebody on the moon, we could send a satellite around Pluto and measure the temperature, but you can't stop a boat from coming over here full of dope? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, the reason I think this is so important is that we're experiencing not just a, a you know a, a widespread acceptance of marijuana in the United States, but a psychedelics renaissance, and people are realizing that mushrooms and LSD and, and you know DMT, so many other There's drugs, tropic drugs, right there, you and know. they have really positive therapeutic effects. They can. That, yeah. They can. I've heard. I've done some research. Not a lot. Don't quote me, but I've done some, and I've seen where it unlocks parts of the brain. You know. I'm not sure if it's good to unlock some people's brains. <laughs> some brains need to stay thoroughly locked. But seriously, I've heard that it does unlock different parts of the brain. I think under a controlled environment, a controlled clinical environment, proper study and research is done. I think proper responsibility and accountability should be in place. And I think a legitimate non-biased penal system should be in place. A system where cops can't... Can I throw this in? I know it's... Please. 
Shouldn't it be that anyone who has anything to do with the production of laws, the authority to carry out laws, shouldn't they be held to at least five times the criminal penalty for anything that they do that would be a civilian would do? Say spouse abuse from a cop, shouldn't he be held to five times the uh, penalty? I think it's kind of arbitrary. If everybody's held accountable for their damages, I think that would be fair enough. But let me ask, wouldn't it be more appropriate to say if there's a victim, then you have a crime. If there's no victim, there's no crime, right? If a tree falls in the woods and nobody see it or hear it, did it make a sound? So you're saying well, if you do it in the privacy of your own home, it almost doesn't matter because like Fourth Amendment privacy, right? Well, crime is crime. Whether it's in the home or out in public, crime is crime. And I but if you don't hurt anybody, it's not, is it a crime? Well, it depends on what's considered hurt. Who constitutes what hurt is? The victim or the aggressor? Well, if there's no victim, there's no crime, right? Well, they haven't found a lot of dead bodies. Doesn't mean that a crime hasn't been committed. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Now, that's not actually the surprise subject. Here it is. You said earlier when you saw my tattoo that said USMC, Thank you for your service. What did you mean by that? Thank you so much, hey, sir. No hey, problem, hey let me hit you up one more because you know what? I probably cost you another sale taking so much of your time hey, here. It's all another good, donation. Man. Yeah. Excuse me. It's not a problem, man. Not a problem. Hey, look, like I said before, all we want is for people to understand that tourism is big out here and we want safe tourism. We want people awesome. to have reasonable, responsible tourism. This is Adam Kokesh. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and support this production by going to patreon.com slash Adam Kokesh.